And we're here with Central Oklahoma head coach Edward Maraku, along with Barbara Jackson and Whitney Gifford. Coach, if you could share some opening comments about the match. Uh, I think we it was not our best night. It, I think let's start with that. I think a lot of credit goes to uh, Concordia. Great program. Uh, executed their, their game plan fairly well. Uh, we struggled a little bit early on, never kind of got in the rhythm, and that affected uh, different aspects of our game. Primarily passing, and then once the passing gets, gets out of the rhythm somewhat, or a lot, depending on the situation, then I think the offense started struggling and, and confidence started shaking up a little bit. But uh, like I said, it's, it's part of it in our end, and, and a lot of credit also goes to Concordia. They're able to execute fairly well, and uh, it put us in our heels uh, pretty much for the whole match. We had glimpses here and there, especially in the first set, more so than the second and the third. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, I think they deserve a lot of credit. And uh, we could have done better, for sure. And uh, I think it goes without saying all of our uh, players know they can do better. They had a great season. And that's something I'd like to emphasize. You know, we, we did close, not necessarily in a great note, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it should not take away from an outstanding season that these uh, young uh, players and young ladies had. They deserve a lot of credit. Uh, we had uh, a good mix of, of different uh, athletic ability and, and different positions and also youngsters on the team. We had three freshmen that got on in a regular basis that got us where we are today. So one thing I don't want to shy away or, or take away from, from all of them as a group and our team this year is the fact that they were able to uh, overall compete very well. I mean, at the end of the day, they won 31 matches. There are not a lot of teams in the nation, you know, still playing today that were able to win 31 matches. So I still think they deserve a lot of credit for that. And coach, like you said, there's a really successful season for you guys, winning the MIAA, winning 31 matches. Um, what do you as a coach and what, what do you as a program take out of that heading into next year? Well, I think it's overall it's positive again. I, I, it's really easy for me, and, and as much as I <laughs> struggle at times, I want better and better and better. It's really easy for me to get caught into one match tonight. The reality is that uh, we play a lot of tough matches. Uh, the RPI has been off the chart for our team this year, and it got better and better and better every single weekend. So, uh, and it's a little too early for me to think about next year, to be honest with you. I want, you know, I want our players and our staff to really enjoy a successful season at the end of the day. Uh, I think we've made a huge step toward uh, betterment of our program. Uh, if it wasn't for the MIAA regular season championship, uh, you know, passing first round here at regionals is a huge, huge uh, step in the right direction. So where does it take us next year? I think we have some freshmen that, you know, have gained quite a bit, quite a bit of uh, needed experience. Uh, from that perspective, I think that's very, very positive. Uh, we do compete in a very, very tough conference, uh, tough region. So I think it doesn't mean it's going to get any easier by all means. But I think, like I said earlier, it's a great step in the right direction. and. Uh, would love to, you know, get uh, even further next year. And for both Barbara and Whitney, obviously, going out with a with a strong season. Um, just talk a little bit what it means to finish time with the program with with on a, on a real high note this year. Um, it means a lot. Like, I can't be down because, like, I'm not going to let this one game determine like all the hard work that we did all season. It was a great team. Wouldn't want to go down to anybody else. It's sad to see it in, but I couldn't ask for a, a better season. Yeah, and I mean, it's. I feel the same. Like I have, we had the best team I could possibly imagine, and going down to the number one team in the nation is probably best way to go. I'd say. <laughs> Barbara, four, four years with Coach Maraki, that year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a nice. Cruise, uh, rocky start, but that's. I feel like that's any freshman coming into college, just trying to get the feel of a new coach. But once we, once we hit the ground run, and it was, he made me a ten times better player than I was coming in. So he's he's great. It was great. So leave them with no regrets, and as they go further, you'll be part of the 
Um, I've played it my whole life. I've actually never played left back, so I'm a lot more comfortable there. It's definitely more my home. I I enjoy it. I love it, but yeah, it's my it's my spot. <laughs> Coach can't teach experience, and now you've got some. You did a lot of little things out there. I thought it was pretty amazing. Uh, I've had the opportunity to watch Emma Lane play a lot all the way since high school. I've had her watch them have her way with other teams and just get the floor uncontested and clean. Your players were standing with balls. It's never easy to prepare for number one in the nation. And it's not simply number one in the nation or some of the best players in the nation. It's, it's a team and a program that's consistently been there for years and years and years. So from that perspective, I mean, as a, as a long-standing and veteran coach yourself, you know that it's never easy to prepare a team. And sometimes whatever we see as coaches, it may not always get translated or conveyed the right way to the players. So a lot of times, uh, I think players don't, don't get as much credit as they should because they're the ones on the floor reading in the split moment, uh, uh, split second decisions, making split moment decisions and things like that. So I think, I think I'd, I'd like our players and my players to take credit for that. I don't think it had much to do with our staff or anything like that. It's just when you have a great crew like that, they perform well, it makes us look good. Yes. So when Casey went up to Galton, like there was no one there to Galton. Was and that by design? Uh, like I said, I think a lot of credit goes to our players. <laughs> I think whether it's by design or not, I think our players uh, were able to make the right decisions at the right time. So. Fair enough. And for either of the players, um, what bit of wisdom would you want to leave to the team moving forward? Um, just go out and kill it next year. You guys got this. Um, <laughs> we started something great, finish it next year. I'm on the same with that. It's UCO is making it come up from first entering the MIAA my freshman year, so it's on the lookout for UCO. We're on the rise. Watch out. Thank you, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Thank you.